uh, Cody Pedersen, uh, executive committee member of San Diego Sierra Club. Uh, Chair Padilla, uh, it's good to see you in the land of living. Uh, commission members and uh, staff, thank you for the opportunity to speak. The desire to bury our waste and be done with it is understandable, but spent nuclear fuel is not the kind of waste you walk away from, ever. Unfortunately, the energy songs gave us for 50 years has saddled our children's children's children with the obligation to inspect and monitor the spent fuel for a thousand years. And unfortunately for us, that thousand years begins now. As my fellow Sierra Club representatives have pointed out, the risks of embrittlement, scratching, gouging, chemical corrosion, cracking, oxidation, rusting, and spalling are non-trivial, particularly given the proximity of the canisters and monolith to the ocean and water table. The deficiency of inspection and monitoring capability is therefore concerning. As the US Nuclear Waste Technical Review Board points out, no casks or canisters of commercial SNF now in dry storage have received full scale, full surface inspections since they were placed in dry storage. Furthermore, there is no equipment fully developed to conduct inspections of 100% of the surface of SNF canisters in storage. Given this pervasive shortcoming in dry cask inspection capacity, the reliance of S a CE on minimal, rudimentary, over-the-counter radiation monitoring technology is unacceptable. In light of these deficiencies in inspection and monitoring, I ask you, on behalf of the Sierra Club, to maintain the spent fuel pools until a validated handling facility or hot cell has been built on site. Thank you.